Hi guys, this is Lauren here with the AHA channel. Um, we are in Eagle Rock Reservation today and I wanted to share with you guys something. I'm so excited because I really had a breakthrough today. Um, this video is about how to get unstuck when you're in a negative spiral. And um, one of the things about negative spirals is that we get stuck on a loop of I don't want this, I don't want that, I don't like this, I don't like that. And it's a song that's like, listen on repeat, it just plays over and over and over until it's hijacked our body. And now we feel really uncomfortable because we're sitting around watching, maybe binge watching, um, and i um, guilty, and, um, and that's pretty much becomes the default setting of our thinking. I don't want, I don't like, I don't want, I don't like. And so that, again, I know we're always talking about this like attracts like and what we focus on manifests, but it's so true when, when we're feeling crappy and paying attention to the things that feel bad, we tend to notice uh, more things that we don't like and don't want and that increases our discomfort even more, creating more of that spiral loop that brings us down into what I call the pit. So the thing is, um, as many of you, as some of you who frequently visit the deep end of a pit will understand, um, positive thinking doesn't really work. I mean, you know, they say, well, just think positively, be positive, think about what you do like and what you do want and your visions and your aspirations, but come on, get real. That doesn't work for um, when, you're, when you're that level of the pit, that, act, that type of thinking actually makes things worse, honestly, because, uh, and I know some of you can relate to this, um, then that's just one more thing we've failed at, being positive. And from where we're sitting, right, from where we're sitting, the gap is too wide, you know, to go from here to the, all the way over there. I need to be over there where, where that sunshine is and where those trees are, but I'm not because I'm sitting right here. And then we think, how am I going to get over there? It's impossible to get there, especially feeling the way I feel. So it be, just becomes another mountain to have to climb that seems impossible. Positivity. So what do you do? Well. Here's what happened to me. I'm in the kitchen, I'm making myself a cup, cup of coffee. Surely that should help, even though it hadn't for several days in a row. Matter of fact, just the day before, um, coffee was putting me to sleep, which is pretty weird, literally. I was falling asleep while drinking coffee. Who knew? Um, so, but anyway, yeah, go make the morning coffee. Um, actually, my son had made the coffee, so that was quite awesome. Um, and I'm in, the, in there, and I'm like, I don't even know. I realized that I didn't know, I didn't know what I wanted. Like, you know, big vision stuff. I didn't know what I wanted um, at all. And I knew that I needed to have a target to move towards so that I'd feel better. And I thought, well, hell, you know, I'm doomed. But so I thought, hey, you know, I want to make a great cup of coffee. Really good. A lot. I mean, I put sugar in it, which I usually don't do. So, um, so that's what I did. And I, I um, added the sugar and added the milk and I was imagining how great it was going to taste. And voila, the fog lifted. Why? Why did the fog lift? Why? 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 How? Three days. Three days of laying there in the pit and suddenly, bang! I'll tell you why. Because, uh, this is what I think, I anchored a positive emotion to an aspiration of something 100% attainable. Eh, it's getting dark. Um, yeah, that's what I did. I had my thinking changed but through my feelings. So I thought about, I'm gonna make a great cup of coffee. And then I thought, hell, that's easy. I'm just, I got all the ingredients, I have the cream, 
the sugar, the coffee, the heat, the fire, the stove, the water, everything. I had everything. Everything was within my reach to make my own self, make my own self happy. Hack. So I guess I hacked my way out of a negative spiral by um, attaching a, a very positive emotion to something that was easily attainable that I really wanted. So the trick here is make it easy, make it small, make it something that you can do now. Okay, another example of this. Um, I was on my way here to this beautiful place. I know, it looks kind of lovely, right? All the colors. Um, I was on my way here and um, I kind of started to feel a lot of things like, ah, I'm cold, I want to make a video, but I also have to go pee and I also um, am cold and blah, 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 blah. And um, I, I decided, well, um, I had finished writing, see, I wrote everything down, um, this video, and I finished writing it and I said, why don't I just practice what I preach? Let's try it again. So I said, I want to get really comfortable. I want to be really warm. I want to be really warm. I want to be really warm. And I said, hell, that's easy. So I put on my gloves, I put on my coat, I put on my scarf, and I got really warm. And next thing you know, I was out here pushing record. Okay, guys. So try that this week. That's your tip. Make it small. Dream, dream small in order to dream big. Love you.